Jason woke up naked, face down in the grass. That was not how he expected to wake up, since he had gone to sleep in his own bed and his own Darth Vader boxer shorts. From the feel of the cool grass on his unmentionables, he had been removed from his bed and shorts both. The last thing he recalled was doing what he did most nights, playing video games until he got tired and then fumbling his way into bed. The grass he woke up on was weirdly comfortable, a dense bed of lush green softness. It wasn't like any grass he had encountered before, which was a little unusual. His father was a landscape architect, and Jason had grown up learning more about grass than he ever wanted to know, mostly because it was the only escape from his mother's Japanese lessons. Jason rolled himself over and sat up. He was feeling odd, beyond just the unusual circumstances. It wasn't a bad sensation, more like waking up after a really long sleep. There was the lingering sopa, but also a feeling of refreshed energy. He ran a hand over his head, only to be startled when he realized his hair was missing. Uh. He felt about his head with both hands, but his head was balloon smooth. He made a quick check with his eyes and hands, realizing there was no hair anywhere on his body. No eyebrows, nothing on his chest, or arms, or other places. I thought it was meant to look bigger when you trimmed. He pushed himself to his feet and started assessing his environment. Casting his gaze to the sky, he saw that the sun was high and the air was warm. The sky was unbroken blue, the blazing orb burning away so much as the merest hint of cloud. Sunburn, more than cold, was likely to threaten his exposed extremities. Looking around, he saw that he was boxed in between two long, tall hedges. Glancing up and down the dead straight lane, side junctions headed off at sharp right angles in either direction. The lane itself was wide and grassy, with plenty of room for unconscious sprawling. The hedge walls were meticulously trimmed. After an unhappy glance down at his bald, naked body, he set off at random to explore. He quickly discovered he was in a hedge maze, the living walls cultivated to almost twice Jason's height. Jason's first thought was to climb one to get a better sense of his location, but a closer examination of the hedges changed his mind. Instead of the usual boxwood, the hedges were something very prickly, and he was very naked. He looked up and down the path he was on, with neither direction looking any better than the other. What the bloody hell is going on? As if in response to his question, something appeared in front of him. It looked like a touchscreen, floating in the air, disembodied. He reached out to touch it with an experimental finger, the screen shimmering as his finger passed straight through. Hologram? He looked at the ground and nearby hedges for some kind of projector, but as he started moving, the screen followed. There was text on the screen, which he read. New Quest Stranger in a Strange Land You have awoken in a place you do not know. Explore the area to discover more. Objective Explore the hedge maze. Zero of one. Reward Simple Pants Huh. He looked around suspiciously. He carefully probed the pointy foliage of the hedge walls, looking for hidden cameras. Looking up at the sky, he didn't spot any camera drones. What he did notice was the moon, pale and easy to overlook in the daylight. Then he noticed another moon. That can't be right. Jason looked down at the floating screen, then back up at the sky. Still, two moons. Am I going nuts? Jason sat down on the grass, unsure what to do. He kept glancing up at the sky and the extra moon. In front of him, the screen still waited patiently. This is crazy. I mean, a quest? I'm not a level one sorcerer. Another screen appeared next to the first. Jason Asano. Race, Outworlder. Current rank, Normal. Progression to Iron rank, 0%. Zero of four essences. Attributes. Power. No essence. Normal. Speed. No essence. Normal. Spirit. No essence. Normal. Recovery. No essence. Normal. 